Problem 2a asks what kind of objects zip codes are. And we can use the structure or str function to find out by passing the name of the data frame in. Let's try that. It shows me that zip codes are numbers. And I could have actually seen this by just going up to the global environment and expanding out tidy data frame and see that zip code is numbers. So one question is, um, are we actually using zip codes as numbers? In other words, does the magnitude of the zip code have some meaning? And the answer is no. Really, these are just identifiers. So in some ways, it might be better to have them be strings. But R, when it read the data frame in, assumed that they were numbers because they were composed completely of numeric characters. So when we use them, we have to treat them as numbers. So in part B, it says, start with the tidy tibble, use the filter function to select rows only that have a zip code of 37211. So we'll use filter and then the name of the data frame, which is tidy df. Then we need to put the condition that we want to filter by. So zip code. And again, I have to put them into back ticks because it's a column that has a space in it. The test for equivalence is equals equals. Now I'm going to put 37211. And if this were a column of character strings, then I would have to put 37211 in quotation marks. But since it's treating them as numbers, I'm just going to leave it as a number without putting it inside quotation marks. Let's see if that works. OK, so it has pulled out only the rows with 37211 zip codes. However, I did not assign them to a new data frame. So I will create a data frame called zip. Three seven two one one D F and assign the output to that. And here's my new data frame. And I can confirm that it's composed only of schools in that zip code.